Hi, it's Doreen. Um, today I thought I'd show you how I clean my coffee maker. I'm a little obsessive about it. I do some extra things that other people don't normally do. I'm not telling you to do this. This is for entertainment purposes only. Um, this is what I do. Um, anyway, the first thing I do is, well, the first thing you need are some Q-tips, some paper towels, and some vinegar. Okay, so this is what I do. First of all, I take, whoops, I left a little, someone made coffee. I have no idea who it wasn't me. Here we go. Get rid of that. First thing I'll show you is, I don't know if you ever noticed this, but inside of the basket between, you know, the ridges, you get um, some buildup there. Um, what you want to do is take one of your Q-tips and kind of run it along the ridges in between, um, pressing the Q-tip up against the edge of the ridge and see the dirt you get. It's not dirt, it's uh, coffee residue. Be surprised how this kind of thing affects the flavor of your coffee. But you're gonna do all these ridges. I'm pretty fast at it because I'm so used to doing it. It's funny, I asked uh, on my Facebook page, who does this thing? I think they thought it was crazy, but I'm telling you, look at the buildup of stuff you get. And I use the two ends. Serious. It's something you would not notice unless someone pointed it out to you. Um, getting all these little ridges here. Got a couple more to do. And you could go up the sides too. See, you can still get some residue. Getting the ridges. That looks pretty good. Much better than it was. I'll tell you that. Look at that. Okay. So next thing I do after that is use a little soapy water. Throw a little dish detergent in here. I like to press on the bottom a little bit, let some out. Let some go through there, get a sponge. Swish it around in there. Rinse that out. Let some through again here by pushing the bottom. There. Yeah. I don't know if you could see that, but it's much better. Okay, that's number one thing I do. The next thing I do, it's probably kind of dangerous to do this, but you have to just do it very carefully. I'm not taking any liability for anyone doing this. This is just what I do. I don't know if you ever noticed a sort of a dull, sort of a, start to get like a little tinge, coffee color tinge around here. Believe it or not, this is what I do. I get a paper towel and I lightly press the sides like this and sort of go along. Look at that. You would never know that that was there. Um, I don't know if it's microfilm. They call it microfilm. I'm not sure if it's that. I mean, that's something you really have to just sort of scrub off. That's, I mean, you don't want to put too much pressure because you could break that and have to, you know, hurt your hand. So don't do that. Don't do what I do, kids. Just see this is what I do. If you want to do it, that's up to you. I'm not taking any liability for it. Uh, as they say, don't try this at home. So um, I'm just showing you what I do. 
see, look. Anyway, do that. Get another one. Look at that. Looks a lot better already, huh? Hold on. Yeah, usually I do this dry. Um, I'm going to do one more. I did wet it a little bit, but I noticed a little something, something down there. Okay, see? All right. All right, next, uh, I'm just going to give this a quick rinse. Looks better already. See how much clearer it looks? All right, next. No, here's what I'm going to do. Next thing I do is I fill the coffee pot halfway with vinegar and halfway with water. Put it up to the six with vinegar. And then we're going to do the rest with water, and I'm going to run it through. There we go up to the 12, 12 cup measure. Pour it in the back of here. Back of my coffee maker, right up. And I'm just gonna turn it on and run it through. I don't put a filter in there or anything. A lot of people say put a filter in, but I don't, because actually the hot water seems to make it uh, cleaner, the basket. That's just my opinion. Um, but anyway, that's how I clean the coffee maker. Now, after this is run through, I'm gonna empty it and rinse it I'm going to run clear water through it after the vinegar and water. And then after that, I'm going to wash the basket and the carafe with hot, warm, soapy water. Um, anyway, that's how I do it. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and found it informative or helpful. Um, thanks. Bye-bye.